So what are HTML tags? In this video, we're going to show you HTML tags in their most basic form, so you can get a good idea of how to write them. We'll also look at a website where you'll see how these HTML tags look from behind the scenes. And in the end of the video, we're going to take you to burntolearn.com where you can practice writing these HTML tags. Let's take a look at this sample website. Here we have a header and we have a section. We also have an aside and here at the bottom we have a footer. Each of these are HTML elements which we can make using HTML tags. Let's do that now. Let's take a look at the syntax of an HTML tag. It's pretty straightforward. We have an less than sign and a greater than sign. That makes an opening HTML tag. A less than sign followed by a forward slash and a greater than sign make a closing HTML tag. Together, they create an HTML element. Now let's take a look at these different elements. We have a header element, and we can create that by creating a header opening tag and a header closing tag. Once we have these two elements, we can add, or these two sections or two areas, we can create or put content inside of this element. Now, let's test our skills. If you'd like to try this out, visit burntolearn.com forward slash HTML. So let's create some HTML tags. We're going to start with our header tag. And we'll add some content. We'll call it header, just to help us to distinguish it. We'll create the section tag. The aside tag. And lastly, our footer tag. Now, we're going to click the button Run here, and you're going to see our tags pop up. But I want you to notice and see if you can find the difference between our simple website that we showed you here and the way that the tags look when they show up here on the page. So here we go. You'll notice we have the header tag, the section tag, the aside and the footer, but it doesn't look like our simple website that we're going to build. So why not? Well the simple answer is that HTML tags need attributes in order to give style and to give height and width to these different elements. And we're going to show you how to give your HTML tags attributes in our very next video.